Uh, so we'll start with you this time, Tony. What are three student behaviors for which you think the school district should have zero tolerance and why? And you know, you can take a minute to think about it. We're kind of asking you when you start out this way. Okay, well, I taught at an alternative high school for 20 some years. So uh, yes, obviously bringing a weapon to school, uh, that's zero tolerance. Um, selling drugs on campus, that's zero uh, tolerance. And I think by the time the child has had a second fight, a second physical fight, something needs to happen. The child needs to be counseling or the child needs to be, uh, have some outside intervention. Anything that would harm other children, that's zero tolerance, but also something like that would harm the student, him or herself. So that's where I would go. Guys, we'll come this way, Tom. You can. Sure, thank you. You know, if, uh, with our board packet each week, we get another little, little book that's uh, wrapped in black. And it's the book that we're gonna, kids are going to suspend for the next, the next meeting. It is amazing to me that kids are going to school and deciding to get high there. I mean, you get out at 2.30, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. The three things that we should be totally intolerant of, again, are drugs on campus. It really is a very rapid, rampant problem right now. And uh, of course, in all the, we have all the rules and uh, weapons, that sort of thing. We should be intolerant of bullying, whether it's on cyber or it's directly, whether it's about if you're gay or lesbian. I talked to a little girl at, at uh, King today guy that called it, is the, she's uh, Islamic and she wears the Shador. I asked her, because I, I spoke to Islamic Hamas the other day, and he said, one of the girls had left because people had, had uh, bullied him on it. She said, she said, well, yeah, I used to be called terrorist, but I, it's been pretty good this year. You know? and, um, uh, and then the intolerance, I guess that's the same thing in a way, the intolerance of others. These, these kids are our, our placement parts. We've got the teacher to work together. Well, I, I would make that a two-part classroom. I've been in the classroom, as a classroom teacher, I would not tolerate bullying, disrespect, or meanness. And that sets the tone for what happens at the rest of the campus. And at, at, the, at the top level, you know, we need to be careful. It's, you know, it's pretty clear to me. We need to not tolerate violence, and that, as Mr. Pinnett suggested, is uh, either virtual or real. You know, we don't tolerate um, violence. We don't tolerate drugs. And um, uh, I would ask, we don't tolerate threats and, and uh, disrespect to teachers, but you know, there is some of that going on, I have to say. But not not to, the, to the extent that we can control it. Thank you. We need to make sure that our kids and our parents realize that there's discipline. And so, obviously, bullying is very high on my list. Um, my son had cerebral palsy. So you know what he would do? He would go hide behind the buildings because he didn't want to be around any of the other kids because he was being picked on. And when he would tell the teachers, some of them wouldn't do anything about it. And then he'd come home and tell me. So I think our teachers need to be strong against these kids. So obviously, bullying is top on my list. Um, drugs. Um, I had, when I was walking and talking, knocking on doors, someone told me that we need to bring people out of this drug sniffing dogs on campus. Surprise visits. It might seem a little strange, but we need to do that. We need to let our kids know that there is a no tolerance on drugs and we're going to find out if you have it. And I think we need to be a little stricter about um, suspension and getting the parents involved in the discipline. Obviously bullying, drugs, guns. Thank you. Well, my experience has taught me that all these issues and these things people are bringing up are only symptoms of a much deeper problem with our kids. Kids who are not engaged in meaningful activities in school, where their brain is being stimulated and their mind is challenged, they start to act out. Any of you who are parents know what kids do when they have not had their personal needs met. And our children in school are no different. I have always had children behave because they were engaged. 
they had something better, more important to do. Bullying was not permitted, but kids have to develop a sense of personal self-respect and respect for the kids that are with them in the classroom. And once we fix that part of the system, the other issues will not be so intense. For 10 years, <clears throat> I was a vice principal at a high school. And one of the things that uh, I did not tolerate, and that was selling drugs on campus. If you sold drugs on campus, I did everything I could to remove you from school permanently. You didn't come back to my school. You went to somebody else's school, whether it was a continuation school, a day school, or alternative school, but you didn't come back. I think the other thing that's important is that uh, I was a uh, principal in Los Angeles, and I had 13 different gang factions on my campus. Gang activity is another uh, concern. It should never be tolerated on your campus. And so we had a gang prevention program. So I think that's important because we want to continue to keep our kids safe. I think another area of concern is assaults. I was a vice principal, and I had sexual assaults on my campus in the inner city. I did everything I could to remove you from school again, permanently. You didn't get to come back to my school. You went to someplace else. So all of those areas, plus the big five that the Ed Code uh, talks about. Well, I'm not going to repeat what the other candidates have said, because I agree with everything they've said. If I were to pick the top three, I'd say bullying, bullying, bullying. I mean, it's, it's just a problem. We cannot tolerate that on our campus. My kids go to some pretty um, diverse schools, so um, I see a lot of stuff that's going on there. So what I'd like to maybe reframe the question a little bit is say how I, what character traits I'd like to see in children, I'd like to see promoted within the schools. And uh, that would be courteousness, respect, and kindness. And as our principal and our teachers set the tone for that, our children um, behave likewise. And anybody that acts out of that should have a set of consequences and end up at some point um, with a severe set of consequences um, if they don't follow those rules. So that's where I'm coming from on that one. Okay, I'm, I will repeat just a, a bit here. I think that uh, the three things that I would have intolerance or zero tolerance for, and I'm a former high school principal, so I've seen it all. Um, weapons of any kind, I don't care what they are, you bring a weapon, it's zero tolerance. And, and the expectation should be set from the very beginning. Kids know what the expectations are and you follow through with the consequences. Uh, drugs, that's the use of drugs, possession, and or selling or providing to others. And then there's the violence, violence against others, including bullying of any type, whether it's cyber or at school, uh, or on the way home from school or on the way home to, on the way to school. Uh, fighting, uh, game on campus, and you know there's this one that's instilling fear, where you don't do any of those things, you just scare the heck out of the kids who are good kids. So um, all of those, those are my three topics. And then with regard to the sexual assault, call the police. That's against the law. Anything that's against the law, you involve the police in. So it's not about sending you to another school, it's about whether or not you're going to juvenile hall or jail. Okay, well, thank you again. Yeah.